Well, hello everybody, here we go. We have an hour and 14 minutes at the time of filming, but of course, by the time this video is out, the markets will have just opened. We are looking at the data for today, the data that we have so far. Again, more content is going to be coming at you this afternoon, but this is your morning update and what we should be expecting, what we should be preparing for today with AMC. So we're going to be looking at the data first, then we're going to be providing a few of my opinions at the very end. Of course, as always, this is not going to be financial advice, but if you do enjoy what you see and hear here make sure to subscribe of course and do share the video but yes this is not financial advice do your own research make your own ideas up now we're going to dive straight in and where i'm going to start off actually is this screen here because it's already up this is the data from stonk o trucker now what we're looking at here first is going to be the shares available to borrow so this has gone down a little bit from last week it's still sat at 1.4 million though so there are still a fair few and, uh, you know, the fact this number is reducing or is relatively low, and of course it's still high, but why so relatively, obviously in contrast to what we've seen in the past, it does show that the shares available to borrow has been going down a little bit. It's gone up a tiny bit more now to 1.5, but there we go. Still relatively low in my opinion. And I, th and I think this could be used, you know, these shares could be used, but I do think it also depends on the market trend. And I've spoken about this theory before. I'm going to speak about it briefly again. When the market tends to drop, we see AMC take a steeper drop. And when the market tends to rise, we see AMT AMC take a small rise. So what happens then is it gives the illusion that the stock is trading with the market in the market trends, when in actuality it's going down continuously more than it is going up, which is of course not necessarily the most reflective thing uh, in relation to the movement behind AMC and the amount of people who are holding it. Now, we do not yet have the Ortex guy update, but kindly, this user on Reddit has provided us with a Ortex figure. So, Ortex guy is not here yet. Again, we'll look at his stuff later on, but OK, Stranger8740 posted this Ortex update. So, it goes as, it goes to show us a little picture of what's going on. Again, posted one hour ago. Uh, what we're looking at is these figures over here. So, we're going to be highlighting the change. And if you want to read any of these figures, feel free to as we go along. But yeah, the change over here for the exchange reported SI, that's plus 2.41. Uh, the estimated short interest percentage of free float, that's 4.04. Percentage of free float on loan is plus 4.02. Shares on loan, plus 4.02 as well. Days to cover, plus 1.61. Cost to borrow, plus 2.93. Utilization, plus 1.32. So that's quickly running through the figures as to what we're seeing. And again, not necessarily too much of a change from last week, but yeah, the, the short interest for AMC is still looking relatively good. Nothing really changed on that front, so I'm still feeling confident, uh, as always, when it comes to these short squeeze play. Now, what I want to highlight here is going to be the pre-market. Now, pre-market, as we have seen in the past week or two, it really has started to liven up a little bit. We're seeing moves both up and down quite drastically in the pre-market. Today's one of these days where we are moving up. Is it a big deal? Not necessarily because we're moving up by only 41 cent, but that is 2.6% at these price levels. Again, will this be indicative of what's to come today? Who knows? But as I have said before, pre-market could be used as a mental tactic because when we see the price rise in pre-market, you know, it gives us this idea of what's going on. We see our accounts basically just jump up or down. If there's a gap down, we see that our accounts jump on market open. And you know what, guys? We're all strong mentally, but yes, it can make you think. It can make you question things. So I think that's why pre-market has been moving a lot recently. But the volume for pre-market is only 238k, so there you go uh, for that. Now, what I want to go on to look at now is a few points which we actually highlighted last week. I've covered them in detail in a previous video, but I think they are very important, so we're going to look at them right now. So what I first want to highlight is this, a bear case is dropping, it's becoming weaker over time. The fundamentals are actually becoming stronger over time, that's just my personal interpretation. And also, I want to highlight what we've seen in the past week, so feel free to read this as we go along. But yeah, in the past week, we've uncovered so much stuff. We had Gary Gainsley coming out and talking about the dark pools, of course, and the amount of uh, the amount of trading that goes on off the lit exchange, which was really quite remarkable. We, of course, had the fire, and again, more stuff's coming about the fire this week. I know I keep talking about it, but honestly, it's one of those issues which is so deep. Yes, we do need to continuously talk about it. It really is a massive deal. And we've had a lot of other stuff, you know, we are learning, we had the earnings for uh, AMC as well, that was pretty good. And again, going back to this whole argument that we have here, the data does and will 
speak for itself. Yes, you can be a bull on AFC. Yes, you can be a bear on AFC. But what every single trader should do, and again, this is my opinion, not financial advice, but what every single trader should do at least is educate themselves, look at the figures, and make your minds up based on the figures. And I do believe most people have done that, you know, I think most people who even were bears at AMC when it was back at 72, you know what, when it was at 72, fair enough, it did look like a fairly shortable stock for a retail short. And I do understand that, and I don't have any hate towards short sellers, apart from the ones who are, of course, not playing by the rules. But, you know, retail short sellers who are playing by the rules, fair enough if you wanted to short at 72. But who is going to short this stock now? When it's at 15, 14, 13, these stupidly low levels, it doesn't really even have much room to move down anymore. And that's why I think the arguments for bears are becoming increasingly thin, increasingly useless, really, and increasingly unbelievable. And that's why, again, I am feeling very confident going forwards into this new week with AMC. I think we're in a great place. Just wanted to make a short video with your morning uh, highlights, a few morning motivation pieces. We do do this every single day alongside a lot of other content. So if you enjoy this sort of stuff, do subscribe, please. Again, we try to get the good DD out there. But for this one, it's a goodbye. So see you again soon. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon